My name is Keith Large. I'm the co-writer and the producer of Guilty Bunch of Flowers, which has won Best Comedy Dramedy in the Winter 2019 edition of the Hollywood International Moving Pictures Film Festival. The film has actually been screened in the Mary Pickford Theatre. Mary Pickford was, of course, a 1920s iconic actress in Hollywood. To have the film screened in Hollywood is sensational, uh, especially at Raleigh Studios, which is where Charlie Chaplin made all his films. It's also where Douglas Fairbanks Jr. was. And for fans of pop music, it's where Madonna filmed her video to the fantastic single Like a Prayer. Um, it was just wonderful. I mean, it's just a dream to see a picture that you're in in Hollywood and actually it was really received very well by the audience. The audience were all finding it funny and you know it got a good, really good clap at the end and it was just really lovely to see other people in, enjoying the film. When the film came on um, I, I really liked the music as well actually. I thought the music was great and that's the first time I've actually seen it in its entirety so I, I really loved it. To see your film in Hollywood is mind-blowing and also to see it amongst such a high standard of films and uh, you know, there's a lot of films there that were really were big budget. See this from you know the script, filming it, editing it and then you know you've seen it play out in front of an audience and it might win an award. Seeing the crew together uh, when they were having the interviews today and seeing w the journey that this film has taken, seeing the joy in everyone's face and just sort of having people who are completely out of the context of where we are enjoy the film and talk about it. It was great, it was really nice. But it just shows that you know we made it 100% in a little village that I grew up in in Leicestershire uh, but we had fantastic actors uh, and a fantastic film crew, really well edited and it just shows you when you all pull together that it's not about money, it's about talent and I thought the talent of the film shone through. It's always a real pleasure to um, work with Kay Lenz and also um, producer Keith Large. He's um, really passionate about what he does and he's uh, a person that really puts care and attention into detail and makes sure that everybody feels welcome and looked after. And I think that creating that atmosphere really is essential on a production and it, it's, it's kind of everything because um, it's one of the real things that made the film such a success I think is that we all felt looked after, welcomed and meant we all got on with each other and that means you can get on with the job and that's the main thing. Everything, I love LA and I want to come back again. So I'm gonna go, have to go off and write something else. As an actor, my first time in LA, I mean, this is like creativity mecca in that sense. Like everybody knows it, it's, it's bigger here, the productions are huge. It's formed so much of our childhood and, and what, what we've seen and what we've consumed. Um, so it's been a really surreal experience being here actually. It took a few days for, it, for that to settle in. And, and the fact that it's, it is such a small, it was such a small budget compared to some of the films that we've seen today that you see the end credits and there's, there's probably like 100 people on some of those end credits, you know, including the whole cast and crew with this, there's like 15 people or 10 yeah. people or whatever it is. Um, Low carbon footprint. Exactly. It's good for the yeah. environment. It's what we're all about. It's efficiency. <laughs> we're in between the, uh, the Academy Awards and the Oscars and I think just to be amongst such prestigious award events is a fantastic feeling. I think that the, um, the film itself um, is really well written. I think that it's got a really good storyline and I think that that's the thing that makes the film resonate with so many people that watch it is that they recognise the behaviour, they recognise the characters, maybe they see themselves in the characters and I think that um, it's, it's just a really, really lovely little story and it was really nice to get to play one of the characters and to find um, my, my own sort of journey through, through what's going on um, and it was just also a really lovely group of people to work with which is always a bonus. <laughs> I think this is the best day of my life. You know, you know to think where I grew up, uh, yeah, in, a, in a, a renamed street, but it was originally called Cap Lane, which was uh, after the pub that my mum and dad, God bless them, uh, uh, ran. And, and to think we've come all the way from Cap Lane to California, very emotional. And, yeah, this is for mum and dad. God love you. Being here is definitely, it's infectious. <laughs> you know. Nina Gold, hello. Um. Are we? Well, this yeah, is that yeah, it. That's, that's cool. Thank you. Thanks, Keith. <laughs>
I, I, I thought a great job would be for me uh, as a part-time job would be to be a tour guide and you know I'd, I'd love to be able to give people a tour of the Guilty Bunch of Flowers set because it's accessible and to take them to the locations because they're all, all within easy reach of each other and I'd even take them to the restaurant that the actors used to go and eat in when we made the film and I can guarantee they'd enjoy that. <laughs>